Hey, what's up? This is Mr. Leonidas. Uh, this is a video response to a friend of mine on YouTube. He is SHTF Survivalist. That is for Shit Hits the Fan Survivalist. And he wanted me, uh, well, I, oh, we were talking about one of his videos one afternoon, and it, it was a, he did a survival kit for a, a Savage Model 22 uh, caliber rifle, and um, he put a survival kit in the buttstock. And uh, I thought that was really a really unique uh, thing to do, and I'd never seen anyone put of like pretty much almost, almost a full survival kit in a, a synthetic gun stock. And then I, was, I realized that it is a pretty cool idea. And I mentioned to him that um, I also had a Savage 22 um, that, we, that, we, uh, that we own. And um, he, would, he said that he would appreciate it if I did a video response to that. And it kind of showed kind of my own survival kit. So um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, first off, what he had in his the fishing line, uh, some uh, like, like a, a worm lure, and then he had a lighter with candles, and then lastly he had about 200 rounds of ammo. But first off, uh, one thing you do need to know, I guess for the, for this gun, um, I have two spare, two spare clips for it, and one one in the gun. That's that's a good thing to have if you're going to use it as a survival rifle. You need to be able to load, have enough um, you know clips to actually keep the gun the gun fit. Um, if you if you were to lose all these, um, you can only shoot one round at a time. That would be a bad day. But <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to what is in the gun stock of this, uh, the Savage. I'm going to do it, uh, do this representing if you were in the field and what kind of like, for example, a lot of people carry um, a multi-tool or a multiplier. So that's what I'm going to use to um, take the gun stock out. And on the Savage 22, it's just a simple butt plate, two, uh, two um, Phillips head screws. So i got the Phillips head attachment on my multiplier. Taking that off. And, um, yeah. But uh, shit hits the fan. Uh, <laughs> survival. His idea um, on this, I thought was pretty, pretty superb. I don't know where he, I didn't ask him where he got it from or, or if he came up with it on his own. Uh, but basically, that's what I'm pulling out with the two screws. All right, now show what I've got in here. All right, first off, first thing I'm pulling out is that's about five feet of jute twine for a fire starter. So that that's all. That's always good. Uh, second up is. Uh, but is an invaluable fire starter. It's a big lighter. I have some kind of camo, camo um, tape wrap on it just for grip, and who knows, you, uh, you could always use that um, if you need it in the field. And I thought this is pretty cool. This is a dr uh, Dremel blade disc case, and um, it carries about 20 of these little carbon fiber Dremel discs, and I managed to squeeze to stuff about 13 rounds of 22 caliber in there. There's some, um, I guess there's I don't know if they're really truly hollow points. They're more like field tips. Um, but anyway, I thought that was pretty sweet. They are really, really snug in there. There's almost no place. So, I mean, it's not an extreme amount of ammo, but you can't beat having an extra 13 rounds right in your buttstock. I thought that was pretty sweet. Okay, now next up. This, I thought this was cool. Um, about 15, 20 feet of paracord. It's been a long time since I measured this uh, this little spool. But that's, that's excellent for, for making shelters. And then lastly, oh sweet, it is a buck knife, and it also has like a bottle opener, so I guess if you're out there and, you know, whatever, <laughs> having a good time trying to get your bottles open if you're drinking beer or whatever, um, that's always a pretty, pretty nifty thing to have. I forgot exactly what model uh, this is, but I know it is, it is extremely sharp buck knife, and it's got a smooth little action on it like that. But yeah, that's all I have in the buttstock of this gun, and it fits in there very well, very snugly. Um, I haven't weighed the gun before and after, but I can go ahead and tell you, um, it's not noticeable what I have in there. Um, so yeah, you got your fire starting uh, kit, your extra ammo, um, you got your uh, paracord for wrapping or for helping make your shelters, and then you have an awesome little extra knife, um, and then you got the extra, the extra clips on this Savage. Um, like I said, uh, it's a great idea to have a survival kit in uh, the buttstock of a gun, as long as it's not cumbersome, and it being such a small 22 as it is, um, I don't think it's a big deal. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope I hope he enjoyed the video as well because I certainly enjoyed his. Uh